Hey, welcome to a special episode of the Smart Music Business Podcast. This is part two of a four-part series talking about promoting your music and promoting your album specifically. And in this episode, I want to talk about the days leading up to your actual release, whether that's an album, an EP, or a song. Don't miss this. This is going to be good. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries and become a top 40 billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. Hey, it's Chris Greenwood here, also known as Manifest from Smart Music Business and FanbaseUniversity.com. And we're talking about releasing your album, okay, and what to do when that day is approaching. We talked about September 21st is when my album is going to be coming out, okay, and what am I going to be doing the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days leading up to that album release. What are we going to be doing on those days? Well, first, I want to say that, you know, hopefully maybe you had a song that could work for radio. If not, that's fine. Hopefully you've been running Facebook ads, you know, doing a pre-order about that. So one thing you'd be doing is a pre-order. And let me tell you, there's two types of pre-orders, okay? You can do the pre-order on iTunes, you could do a pre-order off your website, or you could do a pre-order with Kickstarter, which is what I'm doing. And why I like a pre-order with Kickstarter as opposed to iTunes is because, why? Because I would much rather prefer, instead of a $10 pre-order or $7 pre-order, I want a pre-order that might have, like, some merch, okay, like a t-shirt, like um, uh, like I talked in the last video, a USB key, or some manifest drumsticks, or maybe a Skype call with me, something that is a pre-order that has an experience that I can charge maybe up to a hundred bucks. You tell me what sounds better, a, an iTunes pre-order for 10 bucks or a hundred bucks on Kickstarter, but just say you didn't do the Kickstarter, and you're just like, dude, my album's coming out soon, what do I do, what do I do? Okay, we well, got the pre-order, you're... Did you create your tribe list yet? Did you create your tribe list? And who is that? That's, that's your family. That's your friends. That's your fans. An email list telling them, hey, it's coming out this Friday. It's coming out this Friday. Did you, did you make a, a folder with the album cover, the video, or the lyric video, or just like a promo something so that they can share it on their Facebook. Hey guys, can you take this graphic and change it to your page? Can you post about it when it comes out? Can you support it? And these are like your, your, your tribe, like your really close inner circle friends, or you know, your, your hardcore fans. It's like, like your street team. And this is the thing, man, a lot of us you know, we'll make our list. Like you might make a list and I want you to make a list leading up to this. Okay. But don't just make the list when it comes time to sit down in front of your computer or your phone and you're texting, you're emailing people and you're like, Oh, they might say no, write this freaking email and send it. You know, it's proven in a lot of studies that people are more uh, three times more likely to say yes than we think they will. So don't, don't write yourself off. When I, uh, messaged friends to support my Kickstarters and stuff like that, and I ha had my list. And then I went to when I went to email them, I was blown away at the people that supported and the people that didn't. And it's funny, the people that uh, I thought would support didn't, and the people I was unsure of, they're the ones that did and supported a lot. So don't be afraid to email people and um, get it out there, okay? And I'm doing this all handheld style because I, I, we're, we're we're thinking here, we're coming up with ideas. Okay, so seven days coming up. Have you scheduled interviews? You know, podcast interviews, radio interviews, like on your release day, you should be pounding it. You should be planning on that day. Um, and we're not going to get there yet, but you should be doing Facebook lives leading up to this. You should be doing Instagram lives. Have you ever done the, the, the countdown images? Okay. So you've got, hopefully you guys can see this. You got 10 days or we're doing seven. So seven days until it's out six days five days, four, three, two, one, you know what I'm saying? And those images of like, whether it's your album cover and then what's the one that you press on the day of? It's available now, but we're creating buzz. We're leading up to it. Hey guys, I'm so excited. Only six days away, only five days. Hey, tomorrow night, the record is coming out. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. So you're talking about it and hopefully you've been talking about it. Like I talked about in the other video months ahead. So this is the thing, like, 
everyone says, oh, I wish, you know, I sh should, you, this is why you, you build your social media following before, you build your email list before. You know, what I should have talked about, mentioned um, in the, uh, in the last video, but like, hopefully you were giving away your music for free on uh, running Facebook ads and iTunes. And I'll put a link to the way I, uh, I give away my music, um, in exchange for an email address. So you have an email list. So you have an email list to, to send them and even be emailing them like maybe on the Wednesday and then the Friday, you know, like you've emailed them the night before and you're staying in touch with them. And again, this isn't salesy. This is exciting. This is passion and this is fun. This is freaking your music, right? Again, I talk about a lot of these strategies in this music marketing and promotions guide. Get a free copy of this. Just click the link below. You just have to cover the uh, shipping and handling and I send that to you because I want you to freaking win. There's more than enough fans out there for all of us and genres and all that stuff. But have a plan leading up. I gave you some ideas. Make your street team list, your tribe list of your friends, family, because some of you, that might be all you got. If you, if you still got lots of time left, start building that email list, running Facebook ads to a page where you can give them your music, your best music. Always give your best stuff away in exchange for an email list and start building that relationship with them. You know, you could be just per per performing live obviously is important. Like if you, hopefully you can have a tour set up and a promo tour leading up to it. That would be great if you set some dates and hopefully you had a CD release party, but we're going to talk about the day of the release in the next video and what you should be doing. Okay. Again, get a free copy of this. It'll help you out. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing leading up to your release. I'm sure you got some creative ideas and there. It, there's endless ideas that, that you can be doing funny stuff, you know, crazy stuff, you know, just like, you know, in the studio, like there's so much stuff like you, you got to look at this release as you documenting your life. And if you're scared to get on camera like this, you got to get over yourself because you know, um, this is just like performing, rapping, singing is developing a skill. Learning to talk on camera is developing a skill and connecting with your fans, you know? So, Hey, go for it. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so that you can get the more content that I'm releasing. Also, if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fanbase University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music out there. Also, you get access to exclusive training. You get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, fanbaseuniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.